Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. The other day I made a lesson in Tinkercad where we cut it on the laser cutter. I'm at my school, so let's get cracking. Friends, before we get to cutting, we do need to make one modification, so let's quickly jump in our Tinkercad project and choose Tinker This. So my friends, the problem happened down here. When we added the tabs to our 120, this became 128. Well, our roof is 140, so if you take 140 minus 128, you get 12. So over here on the roof panels, and I'll use Fit View to get to one, we went in five and five, which is 10. We should have went in six and six. So I'm gonna delete one of these, and then I'm gonna ungroup the other. Now remember we did this twice, so we need to ungroup it twice. I'm gonna just grab these two pieces. Notice it says two shapes. I'm gonna click a line, make the red one the master, and I'm gonna go to the left edge. Now I'm simply gonna click six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the other side, I'm gonna select both of them, choose a line, make the red one the master, and then do one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we can also group this entire part at once. Remember, it used to be two different groups. Then we can do Control D and we can nudge it down. All right, friends, so now it's time to export. I am gonna hide my house I was playing with. You probably did not do that step. And then we've gotta make sure we grab the entire project. At this point, you're going to hit export. And since we're doing laser cutting, you have got to choose SVG. When it appears, we're going to find the quick access, go to the STL, make sure you've got fixed in front of it. If you've already sent it before, just add another letter and let's hit save so that we're ready for laser cutting. All right, friends, so here are the steps for cutting on both my laser cutters. If I send you to the Glowforge, you're going to move to a special computer, and this will happen actually for both of them, and you're going to use my Kid Harmon account. When you get to that station where I've signed in, you're going to click on MT, and you're going to sign in to the Glowforge. If you see this screen, simply hit sign in. And then in the Glowforge menu, you're going to choose create, and you're going to upload from file. Once again, we always find the STL folder under quick access, and if you saved yours correctly, it'll probably be in the top of the list. It takes a moment for it to load, but once it does, I want you to choose settings, and we're going to use the 1-200-104 Cardboard 2. Click out on the cardboard and move it into space, and then you'll see the red lines, making sure that it doesn't bump in to my little clips or go off the cardboard. We need to always check the select material. We hit specify height. We're gonna use uncertified and make sure that says four. If somebody had already done it, the four will be there. Notice it refocused. So I'm gonna nudge this into a little bit better location to make sure that it all fits. Make sure you're always closer to the bottom than the top. All right, friends, let me just show you this hand real quick. It lets us move the screen so we can see it a little better. I'm gonna go back to the select tool and friends, when yours looks like this, call me over so I can double check your settings and I will allow you to hit the print button. And friends, let's make something magical. And there friends is that blinking white button. Let's go. friends when it comes to opening do not open the lid completely pull out the little plastic clips so they can be used next and then you can take out the large piece of cardboard and put it in the recycle box by your feet at that point grab all your parts I recommend that you stack them by size so do the roof first then do the sides don't forget your door and all five windows you don't need the little pieces from the inside of the window but you do need to recycle these large pieces of cardboard. They just go in that box by your feet and then you can use the vacuum to clean up these parts. 
All right, friends, so that worked pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna send it to Lightburn and print it on the Orion MotorTech laser. I did make an adjustment to my design. You can see I rotated this 45 degrees, so those line up, and then I was able to bring this up, so I'm using my cardboard even a little more wisely. Once again, remember to grab your whole design if you do an adjustment like this, and when you export, we're still doing SVG. Always find that STL folder, and this one's gonna be called two, because I shrunk it down and made it a little bit smarter. So when you get to the special computer, double click and launch Lightburn. It is on the desktop and then we need to click file and choose import or click this button right here to import our design. It should automatically go to the STL folder and then you're gonna choose the file with your initials on it. When Lightburn comes in, we are gonna put our project over here at the 4040 mark you need to make sure you've got it all selected and then you've got to grab on a line. So right there I've got it to the 4040 mark and then we simply need to change our settings. With cardboard we are always going to use the green settings which you can double check over here it'll mean 60 speed, 40 power max, 40 power min. Make sure I've put cardboard in it and then you can click frame to see if it's in the right location. When you click that frame button, it will look like this. Notice because of where I'm putting the cardboard and where I've told you to put your design, it is lining up really, really slick. And then friends, we have got a laser cut house. Once again friends, grab all your parts. Grab all your parts, make sure you don't forget the door. Recycle the large cardboard squares. And then use that vacuum on the floor to suck up the small parts. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, a sweet little laser cut house. I used both the Glowforge and the OMT laser, both worked like champs. So looking forward to seeing this in class. If you are in class, make sure you're also looking forward to the assembly video and of course the video about the rules for using paint in my classroom because that does make it look a lot more cool. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.